What's up, YouTube? We are back. I'm up to 105 fields completed. So we're getting there. Alright, and I can't help it that the one with mana steel and armor shredding, D3, comes before D4. That's just how numbers work. So we're going to go take on the easier of the two. Don't need you. I don't even know... Hold on. Let's go back. Yellow, orange, red, purple. I'm not going to use... I could use these two. Is that better than having purple in there? I'm not sure. I do like the amplifiers. That hurts my starting mana a bit. These are all up at 25, which is a little high. If I can get to one beam, then we're set. That's totally doable. Okay, they give me two towers to start. Six skill points, nine skill points, 234,000 HP. Hmm. Eight skill points. Okay, and we have 30 waves? Yes. I don't see any reason to force them all through one side right off the bat, do I? No. I really like that I could juggle them back and forth, though. So one of these sides, I do want to be the bigger gem. I can't juggle them back and forth because there's no way to connect between these two paths unless this is path under here, but there's no reason that would be the case. So actually, I need both these gems to be pretty big. Hmm. That's not enough damage to kill these. We'll see. See how it goes. The, the nice thing is that they get a second pass coming by, like right here. But this group does not get a second pass coming by here. I'm nowhere near what I would need. The problem is, I sent Swarmlings early to get that beam off. Sending Swarmlings early is pretty painful. <laughs> Sending Giants early is not an issue, though. This one's about to get through. Just use the beam. There's still the minor problem of 
I only have one gem, and there's a bunch of swarmlings coming. Minor problem. Okay, we currently have 79 swarmlings with 72 monsters about to appear, and right now it's a swarmling wave coming. Um, this is an issue. Also, I only have 30 waves to do this. Okay. I need a gem that does damage. As my second gem. Okay. Yeah. This one does significantly more. We're going to set these to be swarmlings. I can't just keep sending more monsters as my solution. That it's not going to work. But I need it to. Just give me the stupid beam. There it is. So this is a grade six. These are grade four. No. There's not much I can do. Okay, I might start getting on top of things again now. It could happen. Hmm. This one still has six shots left. He's on to structure. surviving but barely this is a dual gem this is not afford to copy that right okay I'm going to leak a little bit but I'm gonna steal enough mana that it makes up for it a bit okay I did 
did steal a whole bunch of mana. If I could upgrade this one and get another beam, that would be huge. I still have like half the waves left. We're through the armor on that. Um. Am I trying to get through this one? Grade six. It's gonna be tough. Ideally, I wanna kill gem back here and the mana gems up front. I'm going to have to combine that up as soon as I get a beam. Just so that I'm stealing as much as possible. Do I ever build amplifiers? Hmm. The amplifiers would have to go somewhere in the middle. Which is tough to do and to get the beam to reach it. So really the amplifiers are just for the damage, not for mana steal. be a little bit scary. Stole a good amount of mana. I could upgrade this. Do I start getting at some amplifiers? I think so. Eventually that would have to be destroyed if I want it fully amplified. I don't know if I want it fully amplified. Waiting for these bolt shots to get used up. There we go. Do I give it a barrage? I think I do. Right, I can never place one there. Or here. Okay, that's not the best. Now this is a big damage gem that shoots really fast, so I think I'm okay. You're not set to structure. I want a tiny bit of orange mixed in with this. This is meant to be a damage gem to take these out. Same with that one. 
I don't know if I'll get all three of these. I don't have that many waves to do it in. And I'm not going to have too much downtime for this gem. A little bit. Right. Okay. Now it's fully amplified. Upgrade that, combine it with this, give a beam, steal some mana. That's a grade 8. If I get this one up to a grade 8 as well, I should be pretty strong. How is this doing? The armor's going down quickly. One that's left. If I give this a bolt, can it reach that? I think it can. Especially if I upgrade these a little bit more. Plus, it was gonna die anyways. Freezing these should be enough. Cool. Okay, that one was a brutal start for a little bit. We had to send a few waves early to get it to happen, but now I feel pretty good. Switching off between this game and balloons, I forget which key it is to speed things up. Okay, what are these again? They don't seem that strong. They do have a bunch of armor, but eh. I guess the armor is a thing. Ooh, their armor goes up as they get hit. Gains lost health is armor, right. So I have to use all of my beams and bolts on those. The beams especially should be useful, I think. Because there's no way I'm getting through 600, like basically a million armor. Okay. They should steal a bunch of mana, though. Okay. Go back here. No, nope, you have to target this with those bolt shots.
with crit, I still do damage to that, I think. I don't know how I was doing damage, even with just normal shots, really. I am not sure. That thing, like... It must have been targeting the wrong thing. One of those, like, instantly popped. What was that? Maybe just a really big crit? Okay, we did it. It was a little bit tougher than I expected. That might mean that D4 is going to be really brutal. We got a new map tile. So I have an option. 74 waves with an orange gem. This option looks much easier than this one. I might just go with C1 first. I just feel like D4 is going to be rough. We'll see what I feel like next time. All right, that does it for this video. Thanks for watching.